adding wireless switches and remotes with connect mesh adding a wireless decora wall switch uses the same overall process as adding other wireless switches to prepare the switch for provisioning insert the battery and the red light on the back will begin blinking if the red light is not blinking click on the reset button on the back of the switch for approximately eight seconds until the light blinks red to add the switch in the app, in iOS, click on devices at the bottom left corner of the app, or for Android, click on devices at the top of the screen. Click on the plus button. For iOS it is at the top right corner or for Android it's in the red circle at the bottom right corner of the screen. On the add device screen, the app will search for the new device. Click and hold any button of the switch so that it can be discovered. Note, keep any button on the switch buttons pressed until the switch is fully programmed. Select wall switch when it comes on the screen. Press start connection. When finished, for iOS click done, or for Android, click the red circle with a check mark. The app will go back to the devices tab. Select the new wall switch. Note, an important concept when programming a switch is, groups must previously have been set up. Each of the four buttons can now be programmed. Select a button to program. Reminder, continue to press and hold down any button on the switch throughout the programming process. Press select group. Select the specific group to be used. Select the action to be applied to the button. Note, by default, control group will be the assigned action for the switch. This action is not recommended for the wall switch. After the check mark appears, by control group, select one of the other actions shown for the switch button. When done with all buttons, press the back arrow again to return to devices tab. Two notes about the wireless decora wall switch actions, turn group on and turn group off. These actions have additional features available in the background as follows. Turn group on. A single tap turns all lights in the group on. A single tap and hold increases the light's intensity. A double tap and hold increases the color temperature. Turn group off. A single tap turns all lights in the group off. A single tap and hold decreases the light's intensity. A double tap and hold decreases the color temperature. This only applies when tunable white lights are used. Scenes, when scenes are selected, the button has a single action and will set the lights to the respective settings made in the app. A scene cannot be permanently modified without the use of the app. A scene can be temporarily altered, but if a scene button is pressed again, the light returns to the respective settings set up in the app for the scene. Adding a remote control. To add a remote control, insert the battery only one battery required. Number one will begin blinking. Go to the devices page by clicking devices on the bottom of the app. Press any button on the switch for the entire process. Click the start connection. There is no need to change the name or location. Click update now if prompted. Click start update. Click the red circle with a check mark when done. To assign groups to channels on the remote control on the devices page, click the remote control icon. Click the forward arrow next to remote control one. Continue to press any button during this process. Click select group. Select a group. The select action page will open. Wait until it adds a check mark next to the control group. When the check mark appears, click the back arrow symbol. Repeat the steps for remote control channel button 2. Select another group. Repeat these steps as desired for each of the remaining channel buttons. The scene buttons are the three buttons labeled A, B, and C located below the center wheel control. To program the first button, adjust the lighting to the desired intensity and color, and then hold the respective scene button for 4 seconds and the light indicator on the channels will blink, indicating the scene button is programmed. 
Repeat these steps for the other two scene buttons if desired. New remote control functions. Center wheel control. To turn on. Short tap on the center button. To turn off. Longer, two second press on the center button. Dimming, for 100% brightness. Short tap on the top of the wheel. For 10% brightness. Short tap on the bottom of the wheel. To dim up, press and hold the top of the wheel. To dim down, press and hold the bottom of the wheel. Color temperature, tunable white. For 5000K, short tap on the right side of the wheel. For 2700K, short tap on the left side of the wheel. To increase the color temperature, press and hold the right side of the wheel. To decrease the color temperature, press and hold the left side of the wheel. Color, hue, RGB, saturation. For RGB change color, Double tap and hold the right or left side of the wheel. For color cycle mode, double tap and hold the right or left side of the wheel. While holding wheel, short tap on center button. To increase color saturation, double tap and hold the top of the wheel. To decrease color saturation, Double tap and hold the bottom of the wheel. Adding a furniture switch. To add a furniture switch, slide the switch out of the white surface mount housing. Note, to open the battery compartment, gently remove the clear gasket and add a CR2032 battery. The light will begin blinking Close the battery compartment and reapply the gasket. Repeat the previous process to program and operate the furniture switch. Adding a battery-free wireless wall switch. To add a battery-free wireless wall switch, in the app, click on the Devices tab and select the mesh box the switch is to be installed with. Note, a mesh box can only have a single battery-free wireless wall switch paired to it. The maximum number of switches is determined by the number of mesh boxes. Click on the pencil in the top right corner. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the plus sign next to empty slot under your switch and above delete device. Select the type of switch, which will be either a single rocker or a double rocker switch. Click the red circle button at the bottom right of the screen to save the switch setting. The app then connects with the mesh box and begins setting up the device. Click done once the process has completed. Click on the rocker switch that was just added. Your phone will request access to the camera to take a picture of the QR code located on the backside of the switch. Note, the same QR code is also on the outside of the box the switch came in. Once you scan the QR code, the app offers a quick configuration option that will automatically apply the default button mapping to your switch to control the group it has selected for you. Click Start Quick Configuration if the group shown is the one you want to control with the switch. Alternatively, you can skip this step and select a different group and map the actions of the buttons individually. Two notes about battery-free wireless wall switch actions. Turn group on and turn group off. These actions have additional features available in the background as follows. Turn group on. A single tap turns all lights in the group on. A single tap and hold increases the light's intensity. A double tap and hold increases the color temperature. This only applies when tunable white lights are used. Turn group off. A single tap turns all lights in the group off. A single tap and hold decreases the light's intensity. A double tap and hold decreases the color temperature. This only applies when tunable white lights are used. 
The double rocker switch can be used when you want to control two different groups with your switch. The double rocker switch is also useful when programming a button to always activate a specific scene for a group, which has been saved in the app. To change the group or action assigned to a switch button, follow the same steps for the programming used with the 4-button Decora switch.